It's a tiny country, 1,700 square miles in all. Nagorno-Karabakh borders Armenia to the west and Azerbaijan to the east. 150,000 people live here, nearly half in the capital of Stepanakert, but the majority in small towns and villages. Karapakh was at the center of a violent dispute in the early 90s. Though it was once a part of Armenia, the Azeris tried to seize control. A three-year war broke out and left people dead and villages in shambles. Twenty years later, nagorno karabakh is independent, but remnants of the war remain. A bombed-out school in Shosh village serves as a reminder of what once was. But a new school and a bus were provided by a non-profit organization called the Armenia Fund. Vital addition, says principal Hamlet Heratunian. Of course, education is important, and we do our best for our kids to continue education at the university. But we also work on them to become good people and good citizens of Artsakh. The fund was established after the Karabakh War. Millions of donated dollars have been used to provide paved roads, drinking water, schools and other necessities. This is the framework for a new community center in the village of Kamir Shuka, population 650. It's one of 40 community centers the All Armenia Fund has built in the past 23 years. And for the people of this area, this really serves as the heart of the village. Back in Shosh Village, a new $400,000 community and health center will soon open and replace this old one. Mayor Eric Abrahamian is thankful. For us, this is something unimaginable, and I want to thank the highest fund and all the benefactors of the diaspora, without whom this building would simply not be there. The government of nagorno karabakh is also involved in the recovery. We met with President Bako Sahakian, who said security for residents is a great concern. Um, I had Taking into consideration all the uh, geographic, geopolitical things, and the president said that the most important thing for any government of Artsakh, for any leadership, is to further strengthen the security components of our country, to make the country stronger. The old bombed-out school in Shosh village may someday be restored as a museum. In the meantime, residents are looking to the future and the promising new additions still to come.